Erev Tov. And welcome. As we take one more monumental step on our 49 day journey from Pesach to Shavuot, from the first grains to the first fruit, from the liberation from Egypt, from Mitzrayim, from our narrow space, traveling, marking each day, as we move into the expanse of Midbar of the wilderness, approaching Sinai and Revelation. But first, we do need to just ground ourselves in the present moment. For we take this journey step by step, day by day. In these 49 increments, because that is the most solid way to move ahead. And so we bless. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Asher Kitshanu Bemitzvot Tav Vitzivanu, Al Sifirat Haomer. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign spirit of the universe, who brings us holiness with the mitzvot and connects to us with the counting of the Omer. Hayom, Shnayim v'arba'im yom, Shehem shisha yamim v'omer. Shisha, shisha shavuot v'omer. Today is 42 days, which is not six days, it is six weeks of the Omer. Malchut Shebi Yisod, a day of majesty in a week of foundation. Six weeks, six full weeks, one more to go. We can see the steps of our journey. And we can see the few we have left in front. And so we're on our way to that day of revelation. And as I've made Revelation the theme of this week, I did that in the realization that um, that is that that revelation is at the core, really, of Judaism. That dramatic define, reveal, divine, reveal, dramatic, divine, reveal at Sinai. That amazing connection between God and humans of B'nai Yisrael to the Jewish people. It's the sealing of that covenant as God shows God's self 
to us. But what does that mean today? I tried to present this week different facets, the roots of this, different ways to look at revelation and what it means in a, in a larger sense in this, in this practice that we have and in this, um, in this, this Religion is such a weird word, I'm sorry. I'm always like, I don't know why I trip over it. But it feels like that's part of the revelation thing. Does it make us uncomfortable? I'm not sure. Is it just my thing? But I will say that it is, there, it is, it is at the core. And, the, and I think the trick is to find the meaning of what does it mean to us today and I think um, one of the keys is something that I'm going to go back to that I taught this week. It's that, um, it's that teaching from um, Rabbi Isaac um, Abravanel, who talked about the five books of Moses as the path of a spiritual life. And from the individual stories of spiritual seeking that ends in a leave taking to revelation as that second step. The next step represented by the book of Vayikra of Leviticus is laying out the practice that's gonna support that revelation. And so um, I think it is the revelation for me, which doesn't seem like it would be a revelation, but it still is because the fact that the practice, and I'm someone who has invested a lot in this practice, and that is what brings me closer and closer to figuring out revelation and what that means, what that connection of divine spirit means. In Judaism, we really, the answers are not really a big deal. It's the questions and knowing what to ask and having a path to follow as you ask those questions. And I think that practice is the key to that. And obviously I felt that way for a while because I'm gonna share now some words I wrote three years ago when I did see this week of foundation as dedicated to practice. And I wrote the whole idea of a practice is that it is constantly moving as your perspective changes with knowledge and time and place and circumstance. It is the continual mindfulness and awareness and critical thinking that makes the practice. I learned that from my teacher, Rabbi Alan Liu. And that brings us back to this Omer practice. That it has been my mission this year to share with you. Because as I talk about that practice, this practice, and so many other practices that we, that what makes it a practice and a ritual is that we do it each year. It cycles around. There is purpose to it in time and place and space. But even as it, it is the same, each time we do it, it's always a little different. As I remind you again of the spiral. 
than what I realized this week. And I will continue to work on in the weeks and years to come. That perhaps the revelation is what lives within the spiral. Laila Tov, and I'll see you tomorrow.